Thank you, Devin. According to the CDC, type 1 diabetes was once called insulin-dependent or juvenile diabetes, and it usually develops in children's, teens, and young adults, but cool. it can happen to anyone at any age. So here to tell us more about type 1 diabetes is nurse Christina Perez. So thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, good morning. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yeah. So first off, how is type 1 diabetes different from type 2? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, in type 1 diabetes, it's an autoimmune disorder. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for some reason, the body um, quits, it destroys the cells that produce insulin mm -hmm. in our pancreas. So type 2 diabetes is the, the insulin um, is your body's no longer receptive or sensitive to the insulin, or your body just doesn't produce enough mm -hmm. insulin to sustain. Type 2 typically can also be reversed, where type 1, you're, you're, it's, it's right. long, long term. And one of the reasons that I really wanted to talk about this is in the past six months, I have known two people your ages mm. that have died from type 1 diabetes. Oh, wow. And while there's not a whole lot we can, we can do, I thought if I could at least educate people on some of the signs and symptoms to, mm -hmm. help, produce, or to help prevent these kind of situations from happening. Um, in 1958, only 1% 1 of our country had, of the U.S. had diabetes. Diabetes. Now we're up to 10.5% of the population. So it's wow. really risen quite a bit. Yeah. Important so topic. for us trying to be proactive and yeah. stuff, uh, what are some of the symptoms to look out for? So some of the symptoms, you, there's, there's different types. There's um, neurogenic symptoms, and those are going to be um, like anxiety, and you're going to feel... Um, maybe nausea, vomiting, um, sluggish. Um, you're going to have trouble paying attention. Now, there's two different things that, that you want to watch for. Actually, let me back up. That was diabetic ketoacidosis. For diabetes itself, mm -hmm. if you're thinking that you might be a diabetic, you're going to have um, thirsty. You're going to just drink like nobody's business. You're going to feel really tired. You're going to have to urinate a lot because you're drinking a lot. Um, you're going to have maybe your vision will change because um, it can affect diabetes, can affect your vision, it can affect your kidneys um, and the, the vessels, the small vessels in your fingers and toes. So you, you lose feeling. Um, so you might feel hungry, things like that. Those are going to be symptoms that you may be a diabetic. Interesting. And then are there any complications from this that can be life-threatening? Yes. So as I was saying, there's yeah. two really big ones. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Mm -hmm. So that's when your blood sugars get really, really high. And you need to go to the emergency room. Then there's hypoglycemia. That's when your blood sugars get really, really low. So if you have a friend or you know someone who is a diabetic, especially someone your age who's a type 1 diabetic, and they become combative, they become confused, they get pale, um, they are... Um, dizzy, sleepy, sluggish, you want to get them emergency care. Mm -hmm. um, in, in one of these cases, sadly, the, the friends thought that maybe the, that the kid just had uh, COVID mm -hmm. and just sort of, you know, thought, well, let's just let him sleep it off. It was, unfortunately, he mm -hmm. needed emergency care. So again, if you have a neighbor or friend that you know is a diabetic, type one or type two, and they become confused, combative, sluggish, tired, sleepy, you want to get them emergency care. It could either be too high or too low. Yeah. Well, that's great to know. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned the younger folks as well. It certainly mm -hmm. is, you know, something else to think about. You know, moving forward, we're always trying to be healthy and stuff like that. Yes. You so, want to reduce. You want to reduce your risk of type yes. two diabetes. Yes. In exactly. the future. We don't want that. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And coming up, we have what's trending, including the new relationship between a pilot. <laughs>